In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the steel plate shear wall in the abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the shear wall is composed of two columns, one plate, one beam, and a few stiffeners. In this example, a cyclic loading is applied to the top part of the shear wall, and then the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall will be drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram gained from the abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate the, this article in the abacus software. The article is titled Experimental and Theoretical Studies of Steel Shear Walls with and without stiffeners. In this picture, you can observe the shear wall modeled in the Abacus software, which has been distinguished in terms of the aspects of the beam, columns, as well as the other parts used in it. Also in this picture, you can observe the hysteresis diagram which has been provided with respect to the experimental results having been gained. The length of plate is equal to 1410 millimeters. and its width equal to 960 millimeters. Once again, I will return to the assembly module, enter plate into the assembly section. In the next step, I will click on linear pattern, select vertical, stiffness, done, and create a sample of that directed at Z-axis. I will enter property module, click on create material. First, I intend to define the properties of ST14. Click on general menu. Density. The density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. Then I'll click on mechanical menu, select elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus is equal to 210,000 megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0.3. Then I will click on mechanical menu, select plasticity and plastic. I will click on create section. Here select shell and homogeneous and continue. Here I'll select the material of 
ST14, as explained in the article, the thickness of plate is 2 mm. I will click on Create. Here I intend to distinguish the thickness of beam. Here I will select the properties of ST52. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw a hysteresis diagram of this wall. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, then on ODB Field Output and Continue. Here we select reaction force directed at Z and displacement directed at Z. Then select this node and click on save. In the next step, I'll click on create XY data, then on operate XY data. Here I'll select Combine, then U3 and RF3 and click on Plot.
I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to those obtained from experimental results, indicating that the results related to Abacus software are absolutely correct.